Keep your eye open for Van Gogh's Starry Night as I've hidden it somewhere in this video. Okay, so we're gonna begin the background of this artwork and then we're at, while this dries, we're going to create the heart that we will then glue on top of the background. So this is gonna be a multi-step piece. So just be prepared to have a bit of wait time depending on what you're using to paint with. I'm just gonna be using some uh, acrylic paints that are neons just because I like the color, but you can use whatever colors you want. Um, and you don't have to use acrylic, you can just totally use tempera paint as well. So what I'm gonna do is I'm going to paint directly on the paper. I'm gonna do one color at a time. And I'm not even gonna bother rinsing my brush today. So we're gonna simply add dashes down the background. And you can turn your paintbrush in different ways to get different kinds of marks as well. So I was using the thicker side first, now I'm just gonna simply turn it to create a different kind of mark. So you're gonna do one color at a time. And add rows of lines down the background. I'm not going to bother with rinsing. I'm just gonna take a scrap piece of paper, wipe my brush on there put it aside and then I'm going to move on to the next color. And I'm gonna do my cool colors first and then I'll add some warm and colors in between. So again, I'm just gonna add it right onto my paintbrush. And I'm gonna work my way down the background. Okay, so I'm just gonna take my scrap paper, wipe off the extra pigment, so you can see it gets a little bit more faded once that pigment's gone, and then you can load up your brush with another color. The benefit of doing this is really that I don't have as much cleanup, so in between colors I'm not rinsing my brush as well, you can see that it's not really getting all yucky too, right? Most of the pigment's coming off, and I'm really just load adding a little bit at a time, so you can see like, that's just a teeny tiny bit that I'm adding on my brush in between. I'm not going crazy town. So I'm gonna to switch to my warm colors here. First, I'm going to add some yellow paint. So just to add a little bit of yellow, and then I can make my marks or lines down the background.
And as you can see, I'm really working on adding a lot of variety. So even though I'm using one mark making tool, which is my paintbrush, I'm trying to use it in a lot of different ways and make different marks with just one paintbrush. So that's allowing me to be a little bit more creative and think about how I'm going to create different marks. But also, um, I'm adding variety to my artwork. Great. Okay, so once you're done your background and you're done adding all your line designs with your mark making me tool, I want you to set it aside so that it can dry and grab a second piece of paper for your oil pastel or a wax crayon heart. Okay, so you're gonna grab a paper and a whole bunch of different pastels or um, wax crayons that are all different skin colors. And you're gonna find as many as you can because skin comes not just in one color, but a plethora of colors. So we want to make sure that we represent as many different skin colors as we can in our artwork. Now I'm gonna create a value scale for our light skin colors out to dark, but you can do dark in the center to light on the outside, or you can simply um, do like a pattern. It's really up to you on what skin colors um, pattern that you're gonna do for your heart. So for me, I'm gonna grab my first lightest value of skin color and I'm gonna draw a very thick heart in the center. So I'm gonna try to go over it a few times to make that line nice and thick so I can see it. And then I'll put this pastel to the side. Um, if you don't have pastels in a lot of colors, just find some wax crayons. Um, I know Crayola has come out with a pack that has a range of skin colors. I think it's like something like, I think between 20 and 40 skin colors. I don't really know, but it has a ton of skin colors that you can choose, but really you just wanna find as many different um, tones or colors that represent different skin colors. And the more, the merrier. So once you're done doing the first one, you're going to go around and draw a second heart. Okay. And I'm gonna keep adding layers of hearts around. Again, I'm working on creating thick lines. The beautiful thing about skin is that it doesn't come in one color. It comes in a lot of colors. So we wanna really make sure that we include as many colors as we can. So dig through all your mediums and see what you can find to allow for the most values or different kinds of colors of skin that you can find.
Now I'm just gonna bring this guy down a little bit because my heart's kind of turning into a crazy shape. So I'm gonna readjust the shape a little bit and bring it in a little and round it off. There's always ways to fix things. Okay, so I drew a heart around it all so I can ensure that my next heart is more of a heart because here we had a little bit of an oval going on. So you just got to think about ways to correct things as you go along. Especially when you're working with a medium that you can't erase. There's no sense in giving up. We just think about ways that we can make mistakes or redirect things in a way that makes sense for our artwork. Okay, so I have a couple more to go and then I'm gonna cut it out and see what's happening with my background. Finally, we'll do our last outline. And I'm gonna try to be a little bit neater with this one. So it looks nice and polished. Okay, so I got my heart done. Before I'm completely done this guy, I'm gonna cut it out, but I wanna leave a little bit of white along the edge because that's gonna help create contrast between this and my background. So I just wanna leave a little bit of white along the edge to help create contrast to make my heart pop off the background. OK, 
Okay, so I have my heart. I'm gonna take my scrap paper and recycle it. Or actually, you know, a lot of the times, uh, if paper is colored or um, still good, I might keep them for collages or other projects later, but I'm going to recycle that guy. Okay, so have your heart, then once it's done being cut out, you're gonna take this and place it aside and then I want you to go grab your background and see how it's doing in terms of drying. Okay, so once your background is dry, you're gonna add glue to the back of your heart, shake off some of the extra crayon or pastel and then you're gonna carefully place it on the background. Okay. I don't want to really smudge this, so I'm just kind of pressing it down with my fingertips instead of pressing it like I normally would. Okay, and then your artwork is done. Artastic Nation, that's the end of this episode. Tune in every Tuesday evening for the premiere of the next episode, and don't forget to subscribe to the channel. For more art tutorials, visit my blog at mizartastic.com. Teachers, find my creative, high-quality art resources in my TPT store, Mizartastic. Finally, you can receive free art worksheets for kids by joining my newsletter by simply clicking the first link in my video description. All links are available in the description of this video. See you next time.